Do you guys remember the Missing Child Milk Carton Program? Well, if you were born in the 80s like me, you certainly do. Kevin Collins here was one of the first to be put on a milk carton after he disappeared from a bus stop in San Francisco in 1984. I'm a filmmaker from the San Francisco Bay Area and I've been investigating this case for the last five years in hopes to bring some closure to the Collins family and help provide some answers that they've been waiting for for the last 40 years. This month is the 40th anniversary of Kevin's disappearance and it's my belief that there's someone out there that knows what happened to him. Kevin's kidnapping was one of the first cases to really go viral and while that term viral wasn't really used in the 80s, it's astounding how much press that his case got pre-social media era. Not only was Kevin one of the first to be put on milk cartons, Newsweek also put Kevin on their cover, the first missing child to be publicized this way. Kevin was everywhere, but even with all this notoriety, the media cycles were so crazy in the 80s that eventually he was forgotten. Until 2013. We're still working on this. San Francisco police are referring to this new person of interest as Wayne Jackson. Although he's used a total of five different aliases, and in 2008 he died of natural causes under the name of Dan Therian. 30 years later, police finally found their guy, but he was already dead. They did talk to Terry in 84, but because of the alias he was using at the time, they didn't realize he was a known pedophile that had fled from Canada a few years prior. During all of this, Terry had a partner named Jack Chow that lived with him. Chow may be the only person left alive that knows what happened to Kevin. So the question is, where's Jack Chow?